Hello friends, welcome to another vlog. Um, my last vlog is giving me a lot of trouble. I had a lot of trouble with last vlog, as you can tell. <laughs> like, maybe that tarot reading I did in it wasn't very uh, smart, because it did tell me I would run into problems. So, <laughs> I don't believe in tarot readings, really. Um, hi, Keanu. Do you want to come on camera? Everyone always wants Keanu to be on camera. Hello, babies. Where are you? What do you have to say for yourself? What do you think? You're just gonna run around? Are you on the wrong side of the door? This is Keanu. We found him in Kauai, under our house, begging for food. Hi, babies. Oh, someone wants love. <clears throat> now you wanna go out? Okay. Cats. Um, nor my other cats are not allowed in this room, but Keanu can come in. He's respectful. He got a lot of aloha. <laughs> anyway, my last video was giving me so much trouble. I uploaded it, and then I got a copyright claim <laughs> from Walt Disney Music because I put um, the It's a Small World ride, like I was filming on it, so you hear the song. <sighs> and I didn't do any like music over it or anything, so you can thank Walt Disney Music for not imposing the It's a Small World music on you in that last video. Um, but I am, uh, I clipped it out and I'm re-exporting it so that I don't have to have a copyright claim against it. Uh, so in an hour, I'm gonna go to the GBACG, which is the Greater Bay Area Costuming Guild. I will link them down below. They are my local costuming guild. Um, and there's a lot of people in it. I think there's like over 300 members. Um, anyway, we have an open house every year, um, and they talk about what we're gonna do this year and stuff, um, in it, and there's a luncheon and stuff, so... I'm going to that. If they allow me to film, I will bring you with me. Uh, so we'll see about that. And then tomorrow, I'm going to the Legion of Honor with some of my friends, and, uh, we're gonna go in costume, because it's the Legion's costume day, which is not the GBACG day to go. Apparently they changed their date on the GBACG, so they're all going next week. But I'm busy with tea with my girlfriends next week, so, um, we're gonna go tomorrow, um, in costume and look at the Tussauds exhibit, um, which looks exciting, and obviously I'm super pumped on because that man was a bustle whore. Anyway, this video is gonna take another hour to export, and then probably another three hours to upload, but I don't got that time, so I'm going to, um, leave this here, and I'm gonna go take a shower, and then get in the car and go to Albany, which is like an hour north of me, to go to this open house. There we go. I found Lauren Moyer. This is also fabulous. Also from Moyer Destroyer. Okay. Uh, we are here at the GBACG. What is this? Open house? Yes. This, this is yeah. Amy. She has a cold, flu, I some came sort of. Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette. Um, this line here is people waiting for food, so I'm not gonna get in that just yet.
on. I have found Hen. Look at this beautiful gown she has on. That is devastating. I love it. Thank you. Your sleeves, your sleeve help. <laughs> I, I provided it? zero sleeve help. I just provided commiseration. Yes. And they, Fuck sleeves. Just oh. they're horrible. <laughs> sleeves don't like me. I battle. Yeah, I battle we all battle. Sleeves. It's but a battle we share. Yeah, no problem. Uh, this is Emily. She's a costume collager and a GBACG-er. I found Heather. So what do you think of this event? I think it's really cool. I think it's great for somebody who's a newcomer like me to experience and see how it, the possibilities of what people can make. And it really actually inspires me and I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of sewing and a lot of brainstorming this weekend and yeah or not a lot of sewing i'm going to think about maybe doing some sewing this weekend yeah yeah for sure yeah i've been thinking about that bonnet all week oh uh, which, which <laughs> oh yeah no i was actually thinking about making a cap and then i saw a bunch of caps here and i'm like yeah no i think i just need to i just need to do it to go with my 18th century just do look it. yeah just do it just do it yeah, That's it's my motto. Just try. Just try. Just try. Just try. Yeah, no, I'm uh this is pretty this is pretty cool. It's it's a lot, but it's 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 cool. Like, yeah. Wait, you haven't been have you been to Cosmic College? Like, no, no. Oh, this is nothing. No, yeah, no, I I uh <laughs> So this is like prep, so like pre costume. How many people do you think are here? A hundred? Hundred and fifty? Uh, yeah, maybe like hundred and fifty. Here, I'll show you guys the room. Um yeah, for those of you who don't know what's going on, so the GBACG is a costuming guild in the big called the Greater Bay Area Costuming Guild. And hi, focus. Um, and they have an open house in which they tell you about all the events that they're gonna do this year. And um, everyone apparently is dressed up for it now, except us. We're here. <laughs> I made a skirt. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Excellent. It's not like um, historical. But tell people how they can find you. Oh, I'm on Instagram. I'm Mama Rainbows. Her account is awesome. Go check it out. I'll link her down below. I'm pretty colorful. Very colorful. I should be. <laughs> yes, that sounds great. Here we are. Hi. I'm with my crew. Is this is this an antique? So, it is, it but it's fabulous. You're it's like camera. recut we'll from this. something. <laughs> this mantle <laughs> is unknown. It's silk and wool. I have no idea when it's from. This is Sarai from Hi. Amped Atelier, and I will link her down below. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so it was, um, I think, cut down from another piece. Oh, I don't know. This is, Amy. this is Amy. Hi. This is Claudine. Claudine's undescribed baby. <laughs> Holly. <Hi. laughs> it's the OG crew, yo. We're at the Legion of Honor. Is that where we are? The Palace of the Legion of Honor. The Palace of the Legion of Honor. Where Whoa, we're my hat's all Superman weird. Superman and Batman. Oh, really? Aren't they the Legion of Honor? Oh, yeah. Um, to see the Tissot yeah. exhibit. So, that's Justice what's happening. No. We found these lovely folks downstairs. It is dress up day at the museum. And we have friends for the Tissot exhibit. How exciting.
Hello, it's Monday. I hope you all liked the Tissot exhibit. I did, I thought it was fantastic. Um, we just thought around and shot some pictures afterwards, but not for very long. And then we went to uh, El Mansour, which is a Moroccan restaurant, and I love Moroccan food. In fact, going to El Mansour, if you were ever in San Francisco, go there. It's amazing, it's so much fun, and the food is amazing, and they have a belly dancer that shows up at 7.30 every night and does a whole show gets people up to dance, it's fun. Um, so we had a great time. I didn't film it because chilling with friends. Um, I do have some stuff to fill you in on. Okay, it's Monday, the world is dark, it's six o'clock in the evening. Because I like, had lunch with a bestie and took a good long shower to get my hair uncredited, but tomorrow I have to get my hair credited up again. So I had to do it without conditioner so that my hair will curl tomorrow. Because um, Watson's gonna go out again. Um, and then I spent a bunch of time, like, we were walking through mud, and I was in my Tavistocks. Sorry, Abby. <laughs> um, so I spent a bunch of time today cleaning my Tavistocks, um, and making sure that they were beautiful again. Um, let's see. I'm like, what do I have to fill you in on? Okay, so there's this. Did I fill you in on this yet? I don't think so. Um, after the open house, I went to... Well, I went to Stone Mountain, and that was okay, but it was kind of Quilter's Paradise, which, if you're into quilting, Stone Mountain's awesome, but their fabric is also expensive, and I was like, uh... Oh, that was in Berkeley, um, because it was on the way home from Albany, which is where the event was. Um, so... Anyway, then I went to Discount Fabrics, and they had a wall of taffeta. Um, <laughs> so I got... Um, this is all 100% silk, so I got 12 yards of this beautiful check, which I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it might be a Dickens dress, and it might be, like, a Victorian dress, I'm not sure. Um, there is a Tissot painting that has this check in it, though, as, like, the girl's wearing this dress, although she's covered in blanket, so I don't really know what the dress looks like. <laughs> um, and then, I mean, I can't resist this, like, madness. I don't know if you can see, but it's, like, shot blue. I'm pretty sure I already have this color shot blue and I'm still like yep, gonna buy that um, and I just bought the rest of the bolt on this so I think I got I don't know like 15 or 12 or some amount of yards okay so their deal is their store is moving in like six months so everything is 25% off so this is normally like $18 and then 20% off so I was like yeah and then I found this um, so silk organza in this beautiful red burgundy color so I might actually use this on my dress this is 18 yards of this I don't remember how much this was for some reason I think it was like this one was like 13 and this one was like 16 which is weird because the other one this one's whiter they're both silk this one's called space orchid and I'm into it I don't even know what I'm gonna use this for um this says 16 whatever oh you pay 18.50 minus 25 percent and this one was like I want to say like 13 something there was like 18 yards of this and like I don't know how much of this it was it was like something around that so I just bought the end of the bolt I think you got a little extra discount if you bought the end of the bolt so I did so this has no plan other than maybe using this on my um my ball gown um we will see but uh I I can't like I can't I'm, you don't need to look at that anymore you can look at me I can't be let loose on a fabric store anymore. Like, my friend was like, oh, Berkeley, you should go to San Francisco because their discount fabric is even better. And I was just like, no, I'm not allowed to go anywhere. No more. <laughs> no more. Um, I must use my fabric. <laughs> so I'm trying to be on a fabric, like, low buy. Let's just say low buy. Like, if I have to buy accent fabric, I will. Okay, let's talk about Watson. Watson took some battle damage yesterday, and I'm taking Watson out tomorrow. So, um... You all were shocked that I didn't um, sew an edge on this pleat. So you do get little flyaways, and I do fray check it, but occasionally you get a little little things that come down, so I just trim them off. Um, and So I have to do a little bit of trimming on this. And then I realized yesterday that the overskirt had no closure. The emperor has no clothes, so I just safety pinned it. Um, so I need to put a closure on that, and also at this point, possibly iron it again so it can go out tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go to Sacramento to see Sarah, who you guys might know as La Dauphine Costuming on Instagram. I will link her down below. She's amazing. Uh, and we are gonna go to the train museum that is in San, San Fran, no, Sacramento. 
I can use words. Um, and uh, take some shots. So I thought I would bring Watson. And I also might bring the blue stripy gown. Um, and see how that photographs. Um, and whatever. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get that on and be like, oh, this fits weird. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be awesome. So a lot of photography this week because I was super into setting that up. Also, treats from Thumbs Out of Mode came. Let me just talk to you about this presentation. Like you open the package and this is what you find. Like it is beautifully curled around. The earrings are set lovely. This is like Tiffany's colors. Just perfection. Taylor, if you're watching, this presentation, wrap job, whatever, amazing. Just absolutely amazing and I'm super into it. These are boots from American Duchess I did not wear. I really kind of want to wear them because my Tavistocks are actually very comfortable, but I was standing in them for five hours yesterday and I don't wear high heels so I'm a little sore today. Um, but I don't think those um, carriage boots, I mean the Tavistocks are perfect with, with Watson. So, so anyway, I need to do a little cleanup in here, get stuff rolling in the right direction to be tidy, and then um, it's bonnet time. I'm gonna start this damn thing tonight. Like it's happening. It's happening right here, right now, folks. This is the quality content that you come for. So <laughs> we're gonna get something done this week. Darn it. <laughs> Okay, so I just cut that out, um, and it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to use buttonhole twist um, in order to sew this wire around the outside of the broom. Hey guys, so I'm in Sacramento. We are going to go film Watson, and I have a special guest star, <laughs> Sarah, from Wild Dolphin Costuming. I'm going to put her stuff downstairs, down bar, whatever, but I have to tell you guys, there's this momentous event happening. I'm gonna be an it girl. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. I love him so much. <laughs> uh, this is like when you when you had these and someone else got one, I was like, <gasps> how, do, how do I get one of those? <laughs> order of the Delphine. Yes, I'm in. I'm in the order of the Delphine. Alright, we're in train land. <laughs> which I am super pumped on because I want to take pictures on steam trains. We're trying to find good spots for this. Dude, this is so creepy. <laughs> what even is going on here? We are having a great time doing photos. <laughs> this is gonna be your update for this, this video. <laughs> like, she's dying. <laughs> I just look, I'm trying to change my hat and I looked up and there's this kid staring out the window. There's like a light in the way. Oh my God, that's creepy. I am wearing the blue dress with no necklace and a kind of wonky hat right now. But we'll settle that down before we take photos. Anyway, we did a little costume change. We're gonna take a few more photos and then go get some foods. Um, but this has been awesome. And this museum is baller. If anyone's into trains and you come anywhere near Sacramento, this is the place to be. It's really cool. Like, just trains. Like, literally trains everywhere. It's fantastic. Alright, we're apparently at Angelina, at Evangeline's Costume Mansion. Mm. I... I have curiousness. We have to get in a mysterious elevator. 
Oh, we got to the elevator? I don't know what it says. Do you have work? Can you, you can go to the stairs. No, we're taking the elevator. Let's take the creepy elevator. We're taking the elevator. Matilda the musical. I heard that this is not the best musical. What did you say about this place? Uh, I heard it was haunted. Okay. And I heard it's been around forever and ever and ever. Okay. And it's costuming with air quotes around it. All right, we are in Evangeline's costuming. I mean, if you need an Edwardian ball outfit on the oh, fly. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good point. Look at these masks. Oh, yeah. The staircase is something. Ew, what's in here? Uh, this place is massive. Mm-hmm. There's and, three floors. Whoa. It's, um, better than spirit. I'll give it that. <laughs> I mean, does anybody need pirate boots? Because they've got you. Oh, oh, more pirate boots. Oh, pirate clothes. Oh, this is a pirate room. Mm -hmm. There's a, even a, a black flag there. Anyone having a black flag party? Because this is the way to go. Swords. Captain Hooky jackets. Mm. Long John Silver. This one is very specific. At 80 bucks is not bad. A little Highlander accent. No, not Highlander. Uh, <laughs> Outlander action for you. Highlander is way old school. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I just dated myself. <laughs> okay. I like the Medusa headband. I'm considering that as an option now. Mm. All right, costumers, what do you think? Booby frills? Ooh. Uh, um, these masks are crazy. Wow. Oh, Beetlejuice. Right there. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. This place is crazy. I mean, if you're having a costume party not at the level that we have costume parties, this is the place to be. A uh, King Kong outfit. That's insane. What do we think? Do we like the alien glasses? They fit a little weird, but yeah. I'm thinking I could just drive around in these if I get pulled over the cops will probably just let me go <laughs> hello it's literally two days later it's Friday oh my vlogs are like now a different week than they used to be they used to be like Wednesday or Thursday to Wednesday or Thursday and now they're like definitely the weekend of the weekend for sure um I hope that changes back like I need to do like a, a tiny vlog to like bridge the gap, I think, because I would like it to be that I launch midweek. That's better for me. It's like an emotional thing. Um, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about editing on the weekends. Anyway, um, yeah, the last two days I have actually been out of town. I've been in Los Angeles. I went to the Nier concert. Um, it's a Japanese video game called Nier, and there's another one called Nier Automata. I think. I don't know. My husband plays this video game, not me. <laughs> so he wanted to go to this concert super bad. There's only like five of these concerts happening in the world. And so he bought tickets to the LA one. So we've been gone for two days while we went to LA, which was supposed to be like, yeah, we're going to fly down in one evening and then come back the next morning. But somehow that took all day, both days. So I am not convinced that driving is not just as fast as flying from my house. I think it takes like five or so hours five and a half hours to drive and I think it took us like five or so hours to get home by going to the airport because we had to like drive through traffic to the airport get there an hour early do the flight get get back to our airport and then drive back to our house so like it's still about the same amount of time um yeah so that's what happened so I've been gone so it's Friday um and now I, I really just want to work on this damn bonnet that I have been wanting to work on for months I don't even know if this thing is happening anymore last time I talked to Sarah it was like a, a solid maybe so I have to talk to her about it um but I do want to get this bonnet like made and like in the collection so 
And then I think it's time to start on the dress. We shall see. Yeah, so I already have the buckram cut out and then I have it wired. It looks like this. Oh, yeah, this is this is what I got. For those, I don't even know if that was in focus because I was so excited about getting it. Um, Sarah La Dauphine costuming made me a little baby Yoda. Let me shade it, it so you can see drinking her tea um, cameo that I'm super excited about. Um, anyway, so here is my brim and it has been wired and now it needs to be mulled. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out what is called for on mulling this guy and then do that. Okay, well, hat making is um, one of my favorite things to do. It is also a long and tedious process. Oh, I feel like I should have ironed that now. Damn it. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's probably fine. Uh, so I am putting the mulling in right now. I need to like trim the end pieces so that they meet exactly. Some of this is like not in the instructions, but it's what I know to do. So I'm just going to do it my way. I'm gonna do it my way. Um, and then I gotta glue this guy down, which takes a while. So yeah, I'm just gonna be, every day I'm mulling for a little while. Hopefully not days. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, mulling has occurred. Um, I have trimmed this down so that it's pretty good. This line is undetectable when you touch it, so it should be fine under the fabric. Um, I'm just having a final feel of it before I go cut my fabric for the brim. And then I think I just sew that together and slap it on here. And then I can put bias tape over the edge that I make. Um, that'll make the edge look really pretty. So I'm going to give that a go right now um, and see how that turns out. Fun times. I love making hats, but it is a slow and tedious process. Like, it is not a rapid rapid situation that's for sure but it is definitely fun it's not to be fair it's not for everyone like there are many people who are just like nope to hat making so if you hate making hats it's it's really it's not you it's just some of us enjoy this stuff so I have the bonnet cover done and like on the bonnet ready to go and I pricked my finger and I didn't know what was going on so, for those of you who faint <laughs> at the sight or sound of the B word, you know who you are, just skip forward another 30 seconds. Okay, so for the rest of you, <laughs> I didn't film uh, because I was frantically trying to lick it off, but it ended up like creating like water spot looking things on the white silk, so I just cut new ones. So, they're there. Wait, there. That's them. Ready to be um, sewn back together again. But <sighs> remember how my tarot reading said that I would run into like all these problems? Okay, cool. Maybe we're not going to do tarot readings anymore. Maybe we do believe in tarot readings now. Anyway, so I'm going to sew a new one and pop it on. Um, I, yeah, mess. Okay, we have a bonnet brim. Now I'm going to try and work on the top half of this. Um, there's no blood on this, which I'm excited about. <laughs> so, yay. So, I'm very pleased with it. It obviously needs decoration. It needs ties and it needs a lining. Um, I'll probably do, I don't know. Oh well, it's almost midnight. I'm going to do that stuff tomorrow, for sure. Um, uh, my only beef with it is that this poof thing, like, I can't put my hair in a bun in it because the poof isn't actually big enough to hold my bun, which might mean that I made, like, this hole too small. Maybe I should have made it bigger, um, and that, I theoretically still could do that, but, um, I think I'm not going to for this purpose. I'm just gonna get her done. Um, so I either have to figure out how to wear my hair like down in a low ponytail, which I put the bonnet over, or I can maybe braid my hair and then pin it flat <laughs> to my head in a bun underneath it, but then I could never take my bonnet off. So I need to investigate Regency hairstyles is what this tells me. Um, but it's super cute and I like it. So yeah. I'm going to keep going with this guy and hopefully finish it. I think 
the next time I make it, I would probably make the brim opening slightly bigger. My head, my hat size is 23, um, but I think I would make it a 25, or I would just cut it down more. <laughs> like I just could eyeball it, I'm sure. Um, so anyway, that's what's happening here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I will wake up in the morning and probably work on the lining and this and the other stuff that I need for this. Um, I'm not sure what decoration I'm gonna do yet. We'll see. I might just do like poofs along here in the white fabric. I'm not clear, so we'll see. I think I'm, I was gonna try to make the t the ties white, but then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, but if I'm wearing makeup or it's hot or what I, white silk sounds like a bad idea. I mean, gold silk is not much better, but it is how it is. So um, I will finish this baby up tomorrow, and we will be golden. Good morning from Saturday. Um, so I woke up and I came in here and I was going to deal with the lining of this bonnet and then I thought, you know, Lynn is coming here on Monday. She's going to come over and we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff and like plans and things. So maybe while this bonnet is still in like a take apartable stage, I will go ahead and wait. For Lynn to get here so I can ask her if I should make this poof bigger or if I should cut the brim open more or if everything is like cool it might be totally fine but I know that the hat that I wore of hers I did have my hair in a bun and it was fine so I'm like what what's even happening here so but hers was like kind of soft brim or the cap had a support um, whereas I didn't make one with a cap support so um, I don't know, I'm just going to wait for her to get here, so. Anyway, it only really needs a lighting and some uh, ribbon, so it's not that big of a deal, so. I still consider myself successful for this week. Woo-woo. So, um, in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog now, so I can put it up for you guys, so you can watch it. So, the good news is, one of my best friends from high school is showing up. He was my dungeon master in high school, that's like... How tight we are um he's showing up this weekend on thursday so uh, i think whatever the next vlog is that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go costume co college hotels are on sale in 15 minutes <laughs> um whatever uh the next vlog i'm gonna do is gonna go from today which is saturday um <clears throat> through until probably wednesday so that will solve my problems about <laughs> the vlog being off the week cycle won't be off anymore so i'm gonna um be happy about that because that's gonna make everything reset so <clears throat> that will also allow me to spend some time with Zach oh now Keanu wants in again he's always on the wrong side of that door okay I'm gonna leave you guys here I made a freaking bonnet <laughs> I'm super excited about it to be fair this only took like a day so I'm um, you can make one of these hats in a day easily um you know I'm pretty slow it's a lot of hand sewing and I did mess up the brim with all the blood once, so you could probably make these hats in a day. It's not that hard. Like none of this stuff is very difficult. It just takes up some time. So anyway, um, if let me know if you guys decide to make bonnets. People are already like sending me memos that they're ordering this pattern, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, to the end if you got all the way through this madness, because. There was a lot going on in this video. <laughs> um, to I think I might start my skirt next. I just like the base part of the skirt, but I also I think I'm gonna make a, a mock-up skirt like another. I'm gonna make the same skirt out of a different fabric just to make sure it looks good and it's what I want. Um, so that might be what I do next. Um, yeah. So uh, I subscribe if you guys haven't, and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye guys.